Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to design a progress bar in Adobe XD. So from the welcome screen, we can select an artboard to get started. I'm going to choose Web 1920. And if you select the text at the top, you can double click to give this a name. And with this selected, it also selects your entire artboard and in the property inspector on the right, we can specify a background color. So I'm going to pick a nice, very, very dark shade of blue, somewhere between blue and black. So that's the background. Let's just zoom in. First, we can select our rectangle tool and we're just going to draw the shape for our progress bar. So I'm going to specify a height of 60. And then here in the appearance section, you can also specify a radius. So you can round off the corners by typing in a number and pressing enter. Or you can just type in a really, really high number and it will just round them off completely. So they're perfectly smooth at either end. So with that selected, we can go to edit and duplicate and just hold shift and use the arrow keys just to nudge this up. So let's just give this a color now by selecting the color picker next to fill. And I'm going to pick a nice blue. And then what we can do is next to the radius in the appearance section, you can see this kind of broken up radius icon. We can click that and individually edit each corner radius. So first we've got the top left, we've then got the top right, so we can change this to zero and press enter. Next we've got the bottom right, so again we can change this to zero and press enter. And then we've got the bottom left and we can leave that set to 40. So if we then hold shift and use the arrow keys to nudge this down, so it sits again on top of the white bar, we can then just drag this in from the right and it remembers that radius and it won't distort it at all. So we can set how complete our progress bar is. So let's go for about 60%. So there we go, we've created a very basic progress bar. Something else we can do now is select the rectangle tool and we're just going to give the blue part of our progress bar a bit of texture. So let's just create a small vertical rectangle like this. Actually, one thing that is probably worth doing is just drag over everything we've created so far and border is actually still on. So if we just deselect that, it will just make sure that we haven't got any borders on our shapes. So let's just align this to the left edge. You'll see the guides there, snap it nicely in place. Make sure that this rectangle is higher than your progress bar. So you can see I just need to make that a little bit higher. And then I can select the peak grid and I'm just going to drag this all the way across. And if I double click on the original vertical rectangle that I created to go inside this, I can then drag, double click again, sorry, to go inside it further. I can then drag over the top two anchor points, hold shift and just press the right arrow key. And you'll see that it applies this to all of the other shapes. So we're just gonna give this a bit of angle and then we can just click anywhere on the artboard to come back out of the repeat grid group. And then I can line this up. You can also adjust the spacing here. So you've still got these pink guides to adjust your spacing. And then I can just bring this in from the right just so it lines up with the blue of the progress bar. Now if I select the blue and go to edit, duplicate and hold shift and nudge this up, what we can do now is select both of these shapes by dragging over them. And in our Pathfinder options, we can select Intersect. And what it will do is it will clip everything to the size of the blue shape. So we can select this now, it's one shape. And we can select in the color picker and we can specify a different color. So we could pick a lighter shade of blue or we could go into the gradient option just by clicking that drop down at the top. And we could have one shade of blue on the left. Just left click on that swatch on the right 
and make that lighter and you can adjust this as you need to. So we can select this, hold shift and use the down arrow key just to nudge this back into position. And you can further edit the color in the color picker or you can just use the opacity. Just bring that slider down to make it a bit fainter or a bit more visible. And depending on your preference, we can now select the white of the progress bar. And I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool to sample the background and then probably go a bit darker. So this depends entirely on what you're looking to create in terms of design and style for your progress bar. But there we go, we've created a progress bar in Adobe XD. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.